Turning back to politics, Newt Gingrich says Trump envisions an urban renaissance in America. It's a very interesting point. Joining us now is former Speaker Newt Gingrich, dear friend and a Fox News contributor and author of The March to the Majority, the real story of the Republican Revolution. Um, Newt, thank you for this. You wrote a really honey of a piece. I really like this constructive piece. I saw it in the New York Sun. It's probably going out everywhere else. But you're right. President Trump is doing stuff that you tried to do years ago uh, with our late friend Jack Kemp and others. The cities have deteriorated to such a point, somebody's got to focus some attention on it. The Democrats won't do it. Why not the Republicans, Newt? Well, look, I, I think when you realize that uh, President Trump was born in Queens, spent most of his life in Manhattan. He's, he's a, he understands American cities. He said projects all over the country in cities. And he recognized, as he said the other night, I was very pleased with uh, his speech in Iowa after he won. And he said very clearly that Washington has to be cleared up. Uh, they've had over 6,300 uh, cars st uh, stolen last year, for example. They're averaging about 14 cars a day being stolen right now. Uh, the city's a disaster. Uh, that's our national capital. We have an obligation for it to be a, a, a good, safe, visitable national capital. But he also is aware that New York is a mess, Chicago's a mess, San Francisco's a mess. And I thought, and he was very clear in his speech in, in Iowa and said he wants to reach out to Democratic mayors, Democratic city councils, and find out, can we, in fact, have a reform program that brings about safety, mm -hmm. that fixes the education system, that creates jobs, mm -hmm. and that returns us to a world in which America's cities are healthy, clean, wonderful to visit, uh, and people both feel safe, and the people of the city have a better future. I thought it was a very important break, and I think he's the first presidential candidate other than Jack Kemp, who really has begun to focus in the cities. And I hope he's going to come back and give a series of speeches, because there are policies that could dramatically rebuild the cities. And, you know, uh, Newt, Trump has been pushing, arguing beautifully, graciously, the idea of unity, unity inside the Republican Party, but unity throughout the United States based on successful policies. So he, in my opinion, can steal the blue state Democratic left wing bacon. He can go ahead and do it. And you know what? You're right. He was a great real estate developer. Many people believe he completely changed the skyline of New York City uh, several decades ago. And we had a pretty good mayor in Rudy Giuliani in those days who helped clean up the city and improve education and back the cops and law and order. So I'm just thinking to myself, this is doable. This is a theme that needs to be pushed and grown everywhere. Well, I thought what you heard the other night uh, in his Iowa acceptance speech was actually the beginning of how he will govern, mm -hmm. not just a general election language, but I think he has in his own head a vision of bringing together virtually everybody except the hard left, working together as a very practical team and getting real things done. Uh, that also fits his career as a businessman. This is a guy who likes projects. He likes achievement. He likes getting things done. He proved it for four years. The polling data is overwhelming. The people feel like he, he was much more successful in their lives and improving their future than Joe Biden has been. And that's going to be both a great strength in the election, but more importantly, it's going to be a great strength in terms of governing the country starting in 2025. My guess is, Newt, just last quick thought, my guess is that Mr. Trump will campaign in a lot of these cities, the cities that, you know, yeah, he'll go to New York, he'll go to Chicago, he may go to L.A. or San Fran. I bet he does. And um, you'll hear Democrats. I, th I, think he will, I think he has a real shot at carrying New York. And I know that's going to sound like blue sky. But you look at the disaster that the current governor is, you look at the disaster that the mayor is, you look at the anger people have over illegal immigration and over crime and over the drug epidemic uh, and of the skies of the taxes, the amount of corruption. Uh, I think uh, you could find out that Lee Zeldin was a forerunner mm. and that you're going to have a much more Republican New York uh, in 2024 than anybody thought possible. Great stuff. The great Newt Gingrich, former speaker, knows whereof he speaks. Thank you, Newt. We appreciate it very, very much.